Okay, next stage. I'm Ines. I'm from St. Glass Theatre, you know, on Kimball Hill in Putney, Theatre Row. That's where we are. Eric and I are the directors of St. Glass Theatre. And I have been a puppeteer, a performer. What else have I been? And a puppet maker. But I really love to draw. So, may I invite you? So I'll tell you today what my medium is. I work with a lot of brushes and with watercolors. This is what I really love. Now, the theme of my puppets, uh, oh sorry, of my pictures, you see I'm totally preoccupied with puppets, are actually puppets here. All my figures in my pieces, in my little drawings and pictures are puppets, like this one here. So let's say this is just an actor who is here today and says, I need work, can I be part of one of your pictures? And I say, okay, maybe. And then we go from there. Very often they have wear costumes in the pictures, you will see. And my stories, oh, can you say it's a story? I don't know, maybe it's a moment of a story, like a snapshot when you're in the theater and you just make click and you have held one picture in the piece, that's how I see my pictures. I start with a sketch. I show you this one here, because we are going to, to the picture of this one soon. I make it first with, with, um, with a pencil, then I use a marker to make it really clear, and then I also choose some colors so that I have an idea what I'm doing when I start the picture. All right. Now, would you like to follow me to my first picture? Okay, Eric, who's on the, on the camera, will just go with me. I'll see you. Hey, what you doing there? You're in the way. Hey, little one. She always does that. Okay, now look at this. Here is my first picture. I'm using a wire, a frame that is kind of thick. It's called a shadow box. My painted picture, my watercolor picture is in the back and then they have space in front of it. Uh, and then here on the outside is the glass. Now let's see what's happening here. This was very much influenced by what's going on right now. It's a little bit creepy, right? But it's also in some ways could be very dark, dark humor. So up here, they're living the people that I call in the upper world. So there are two worlds. It's up here above the board and then below the board. Uh, and all the way down, there is water. Now if you can close, you can see the up here, my puppets, my actors, they're all kind of a little creepy. Their, their colors are gray and their, their faces are a little distorted. But they're also not quite free of danger because you see the crocodile is there too. And then when we move down, oh, you can also see they're drinking and I'm having a merry time. Now you go down and you see there are people really struggling, my actors, my puppet actors. Um, they are trying to get free of all those strings they're attached to because those evil ones, they have them tied to their toes, all kinds of things. This one has managed to get free down here, is trying to creep away. And the others are still struggling. And then in between there are some birds. Why they are there? Well, I leave that up to you. And now one other thing is, since I'm a puppeteer and I've come from the theater I like to animate my pictures and then look what happens here if you can move in Eric on the bottom here we go here it comes okay I forgot to tell you look at those guys they're also grabbing the feet of my actors and then I pull my crocodile back and I start all over again okay Let's have a look at my other little world. So 
So, same kind of box as before. The pictures in the back. And then there's a little space in between and in the front is the glass. So I have a lot of space in between that I uh, can think of all kinds of things what I can do with it. And this time I thought, since this is like a stage, you see the curtain back there, and these are the act my actors again. They're all this time dressed as mice. And then I have down here, behind the glass, some spectators. They're all mice themselves. And what's on them is reflected a little bit in what they see. It's a little bit almost like they're living the show they are seeing in their own minds and in their own bodies. And uh, for me, this is a shadow play. You see back here, there are the real shadows. And then a light comes from the back and projects them and makes them much, much larger on that ring. And as you see... They are pretty brutal there. This one has a knife. This one has a fork. This one is just, oh, this one has a hammer. Whereas the others who take care of them outside, holding them, they are just very happy. This one is holding, you can see it for yourself, at the same time while it's holding this guy who is just stabbing with a knife. Down here, he's holding a little flower in his mouth, and they're getting at each, other, uh, at each other. Now, there's one other thing. Let me do this. When I close this, we can see in that big hole that the mice have eaten the actors who are reflected in the front. Good. Now, let's go to my last picture. Maybe Eric could just make a big close-up of this. You see, again, I have it with curtains, you see. There you go, open my curtain. And what do I reveal? Another puppet actor. This time a puppet actor is holding a puppet above his head, or her head, or its head, whatever it is. And everything else you see you can think about it whatever you like. I do not want to tell you anything that you might should have. Think about things. Just have your own thoughts about it. And I think for today, that's it. Have a great time. Stay safe. Bye.